Many of us grew up with the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook in the kitchen. It has been around. It has been the go-to cookbook for 80 years. The recently published 15th edition adds hundreds of new recipes for today's home cook. And contributing editor Scott Peacock, the iconic chef of Southern cuisine, is making some of his favorites for us this morning. Morning, Scott. Good morning, Maggie. Did you have this cookbook in, in your house? Oh when my you were God! Little? This is one of my oldest friends in the kitchen. Is it's it? right in my plaid cookbook. Yes, it was. It was the. It was the cookbook in the house when I was growing up in Alabama, and I really learned so much from how to make pie dough and cakes and salt, I mean, all sorts of things. And it's, you can still find those great tips in the current edition. Yes. And I love that it still looks the same, so it conjures up kind of the same comfort. Yes. But they modernized it. Very much. It's familiar and friendly, uh, but it's very much for this generation. It really reflects the way that families are cooking and eating today. And it has over 1,400 recipes, but 1,000 of them are new. And then they have some classics in there, and it has some great new features as well. I love the new features, especially the Make It Mine make feature, it mine. which let's explain. You can take a basic recipe, like a lasagna recipe, which yes. everybody knows has ground beef and mozzarella cheese. Right. And you can customize it. How do we do that? Exactly. Well, there's, there, it will give you a list of suggestions, but then it also sort of frees you up to use your own choices as well. So we're making two examples this morning. We're okay. making one with whole wheat lasagna noodles, delicious, and a meat sauce. It has uh, some Italian sausage and some pancetta and onions mm. and garlic, mm. and then some crushed tomatoes. So you, let's start with, first you make this, right? Yes, you saute exactly. the sausage, the onions, the tomato, exactly. tomato paste, okay, yes. mix and it you all cook up. This down. Make into a nice sauce. Oh man, we're scooping up all those little brown exactly. bits. Exactly. Mm. And some Italian seasoning. And then you make this wonderful sauce. Okay. Then you have a little bit in the pan, you have your whole wheat noodles. All right. And then you make a wonderful filling with some fresh ricotta cheese and some egg and some Parmesan cheese. Nothing mysterious there. But then we're adding some crumbled goat cheese and some roasted peppers and okay. garlic and things that we really love. But you can also then customize it. We're doing, there's another version in the, in the book. And you make all these choices yourself. And this uses regular noodles. And it's it with gives you a list and, and you mix basil. and match however you exactly. want, right? Exactly. It's fantastic. And it also can inspire you to make your own choices. It gives you that freedom and that excitement and an inspiration, which I really like a lot. Yeah. So it gives you the guidelines you need to work with. And so you make this, put it in the oven? Yes, it's, I could bake it at 375, 30, 45 minutes till it's nice and bubbly. You're done. Fantastic. Love it. Okay, the next feature that I really like in the book is cook once, eat twice. Yes. It gives you not just one, but two recipes for the same protein or the same, you know, main meal. But completely different recipes. Exactly. One preparation gives you two completely different meals. So this is a wonderful pork roast with garlic and thyme and all these wonderful vegetables, fennel and carrots and potatoes, which of course you could use whatever vegetables you wanted in with the season. And so this is one night with this delicious pan sauce, but then the mm -hmm. next night or two or three days later, it becomes a wonderful sandwich with roast pork and fig preserves. And the recipe for that sandwich is in there as well. Absolutely. And the risotto. I love this. Great, great, great recipe for risotto that you have risotto one night, you're entertaining or just for your family. It's a great dish. And then the next day or two days later, you have risotto pancakes, which are fantastic with a horseradish sauce. And these. I've noticed that the second recipe is like they're all so quick. Very fast. Because all, all the work is work done in the first time, yeah. and they're great, and they're very different. No one's going to think you're oh that again. No, yeah. it's something completely different. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Scott, and some great dessert recipes in there too. So be sure to check them out in the new book.